He's one of our nation's top education innovators who currently leads the Socratic Experience, a virtual school that educates children through interactive peer learning. His book, The Habit of Thought, From Socratic Seminars to Socratic Practice, is used by educators and students alike to cultivate curiosity and a mindset of lifelong learning. He's also a passionate believer that every child has a genius inside them, and the best way to bring it out is by encouraging them to ask questions. If we can actively work to form a mental model of what other human beings think and understand, we're learning in some ways one of the most valuable forms of knowledge. And something no one would question is that he's a dedicated father of two. Michael Strong, welcome to Pop Wisdom. What's the most valuable thing you've learned from your children? The importance of connection. You know, it's one thing, you know, to have a partner. It's another thing to have relationships. But having kids, the whole human connection thing is fundamentally different when one has kids. And it's sort of in a paradigm of what real connection is. When you have a children and you have a child, yeah. it's like your heart living outside your body in this with this other person. Yeah. Did it get easier to hear crying babies on airplanes? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It goes from annoying to empathetic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is the most dangerous thing you ever did as a child? Well, I rode horses, got bucked off of horses, uh, rode horses bareback, and got bucked off of them. That probably qualifies. Actually jumped over a, a barn door and stepped on a pitchfork, went right through my foot. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I got lots of injuries. Did you grow up on, you know, on a farm? Yeah, I grew up on a farm. So yeah, literally jumped over a gate and the pitchfork was studied up like that. My foot went through and it went right through the top of my foot. And uh, yeah, then I had to pull it out. So that was fun. Hearing stories like that, you know, in our family, it's like you can feel the butt pain. Right. With it. Well, and, <laughs> and as a parent, you know, it's one thing to do these things as kids, but another, do you want a pitchfork going through your kid? No, no, no. no. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever let your kid do? We let our kids be kids. And we lived in Alaska in the, in the wilderness. And so they just went off and did things. I can't think of anything specific. I think living in Alaska is the answer. There we go, <laughs> living in Alaska, yeah. <laughs> what does masculinity mean to you? I would say it's a matter of um, standing up for something and being something. I think that it's important to stand up for something. And uh, when I see young men who are lost, I feel as if they don't know what to stand up for. And standing up for something doesn't mean shouting as an activist, it means standing for something. How have you most damaged your kids, either physically or mentally? One of the things that um, I used to love to do was I would sing Irene Goodnight and my kids would cry because they didn't want to go to bed. And I did enjoy the uh, mild sadism of every time I started singing Goodnight Irene, they would start, no! It was fun. What sound, noise, or smell do you love? I love books. I love the smell of old books opening up. I mean, one of my favorite um, things is uh, the sign of an educated man as he reads uh, Plato in the Greek by the fireplace in the evening. Now, I don't, I'm not capable of doing that, but old books I absolutely love. Is there a book smell that's too old where the love sure, stops? Sure, of course, musty, but yeah. <laughs> the, the other one actually is the smell after rain. I and mean, you know, I love the smell after rain. So what's your favorite dad expression? And I'm tempted to say, uh, singing Goodnight Irene to my kids. And it's not a normal one, but it was it was fundamental uh, dad experience for me. I think that being made fun of <laughs> by my son for my tics, mm -hmm. of which there are many, um, is probably the, the most dad thing I go through. <laughs> well, it's different, but one of the things that is shocking is how much our behaviors echo our fathers. You know, I think, you know, I thought I was very different from my dad. And then, you know, 10, 20 years later when I was raising kids, wow, that's like what he did. You know, there's strange, <laughs> yeah, little ticks. What's your favorite children's book? Well, I love Dr. Zeus for sure, for sure. Is there a particular one? And Green Eggs and Ham is classic. Why, why Dr. Seuss? Um, there's this kind of lightheartedness and fun and curiosity and the language play and the visual play. It's just a sense of playfulness. Actually, another one, Roll Doll, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is kind of right there. What is your favorite household chore and why? I like cooking, you know, cooking with onions and garlic, so sauteing onions and garlic. My wife is amazed at how I can uh, take whatever's in the fridge and make it taste good. I always tell her my secret is saute onions and garlic, whatever else you throw in, pretty good. As an Italian-American, I... Thought that would resonate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that resonates with yeah. me deeply.
It's like, oh, something's good. Oh, it's just onions. It's right. just onions and garlic cooking on, in a little olive oil. There we go. <laughs> exactly. Perfect follow-up. What's your favorite dish to cook? Spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love cooking spaghetti. Sometimes Italian sausage. Actually, I'm tired of the Italian sausage, so I, last night I was telling my wife, I'm ready for spaghetti with hamburger. Because, you know, I love the Italian sausage, but after about 30 Italian sausage meals, it's time to go through a hamburger round. A hamburger? Maybe that's I mean, not Italian, but it's I'm not, okay. It's not. You're, it's you're, American. You're triggering me a this little is, bit. This is American. <laughs> this is American spaghetti. I mean, American you, spaghetti. You're, you're, you're catching my, my back stiffen. Okay. All right, I'll accept it. Yeah. <laughs> what challenges your patience the most, and how do you overcome it? I would say waiting in line at DMV or you know, dealing with bureaucracies. No patience, because it's unnecessary. So when, when you have to deal with something that doesn't need to suck, as there bad you go. as it does. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Fair enough. What do you want written on your gravestone? Tim did say died with his boots on, but uh, <laughs> maybe made the world a better place, something like that. How? By making the world a better place for uh, young people. You're certainly doing that, Michael. What did your dad teach you about God? It gave him a faith in the goodness of life. I think a lot of people think that um, life is bad and negative or, you know, apocalyptic. He had a fundamental belief in the goodness of life and humanity. And I think, you know, Book of John, God is love. He was very much God is love and life is good, despite all the bad things. Despite what people think, after 12 years of Catholic school, that was actually the one thing that, uh, if I look back, what was the lesson? And the lesson was always God is love. That was the only lesson, you know. All the guilt came along as a secondary lesson. Right. <laughs> If you could relive one memory with your father, which day would it be? I remember a time when we were on a long hike and um, I thought we were lost and we would be lost in the woods. And I started crying. And I remember him reassuring me that no, he knew exactly where we were and it would all be okay. And it was kind of nice to realize, wow, he knows where we are. It's very sweet. All right, quick that, and was, easy. that was the last okay. of them. Very quick and easy. All right, thanks. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to hear more from Michael Strong, check out our full episode of the Dad Saves America show. And please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more videos dedicated to celebrating the heroic spirit of dad.